Okay, this question can be tricky for some students and it actually tests you uh, for your visualization. Okay, so you do need to read carefully. So it started off with saying that it's an open cuboid. So open cuboid is like the top is open. Okay, and then there is a rod that is placed inside the cuboid against the face. So this is the rod. So this is the rod. And when the rod is placed in this direction, seven centimeter is out of the box. So they are trying to say that when it's, it's being placed in this position, seven centimeter of the rod is sticking out of the box. So actually from here, right, if you want to, you can find the length of the rod. Okay, and then the question is saying, this is the actual one. The position of the rod is going to be changed. So some of you never realize that they are changing the position of the rod. So you need you need to see like visualize how the rod is changed so that the length outside the box will be as short as possible. That means I want to fit the length of the rod in the box as much as possible so that they've got very little sticking out. You can imagine like you got a pencil case. So you can imagine this thing is like a rectangular pencil case. Like, so you want to fit something as much as you can into the box. Okay. So you need to visualize where can you put in such a way that most of it is inside the box and as little is outside the box. So we want the, the, the shortest length that is outside the box. So the length outside the box is the shortest. So you got to visualize how can you put this rod in such a way that you minimize that the part that's popping out of the box to be box to be the shortest. Okay, so what you can do is of course I think you will need to find your length of the rod first. Finding the length of the rod is not difficult, it's just a Pythagoras theorem. So if you see, I can apply Pythagoras theorem here and I can find the length of the rod. So I just need to apply the Pythagoras theorem and then add the seven that's protruding out and I will get the length of the rod. 10 plus seven. So the next problem, right, will be how do you place it, okay? So how are you going to place it in such a way? Okay, you need to visualize. This one involves a bit of visualization. So the shortest length right, is when you actually place the rock here. That's the furthest apart. The corner to corner. So if I place it there, then I will maybe, I, I should have very little left. So most of it will be inside. So my aim is to go and find this part. How much is inside the rod first? Uh, sorry, inside the box. So I got to do this. Okay, so you, if you can see, right, you can visualize. There's a lot of Pythagoras theorem around. At the bottom, there's another Pythagoras theorem. So this part is... Uh, so in fact, this part is uh, 8 square plus 12 square. So the aim is to get the rod, the portion of the rod that is inside. And then how much is sticking outside? You know the total length is 17. So you got to subtract from the 17. Okay, so I won't show you the working. You can look up from my answers or you can give it a try. So... The idea is the rod is fixed. You can find the length of the rod. And then, but it involves a bit of visualization. Where can you place in such a way that as little as possible is popping out of the box? If you're not so sure, maybe you can try more than one length. Okay. Uh, maybe some people feel that, uh, why can't I put it this side? So maybe some people feel that, uh, why can't I put it this side? against the front part, then how much will I have left? If you're not sure, you can try a bit here and there. Okay, but the furthest will be the, the, the opposite corner, top and bottom. 
Okay, so if you can visualize, you will be quite sure that uh, uh, if you place a rod on BH, then there will be a little bit sticking out only. Okay, so I think this question is difficult in the sense that it involves the visualization. So if you can't visualize, maybe you need to do a bit of trial and error. But there are also some students who never go and play around with the rod. So they thought that they are asked for something here. So the rod is actually movable because they actually say they change the position of the rod. Okay, so if you understood the whole idea, you can give it a try. Visualize where you place it. So if you want, you do a few trial and error. Okay. 